Okay, hello everybody. So, I'm done wiring it up. I did look it up. I also had checked on the forums and I remembered that there was a specific thing you needed to do. Hello, Mallory. My dog is going to hang out with us today. Uh, the These different transformer taps output. Green is 8. Yellow is um, is 4. And, and the orange was 16. I looked up and then I remembered, even though I've got an 8 output, 8 ohm speaker here, I have... Um, a transformer set for about 4.5 thousand ohms of impedance and these tubes put out about an eight or nine so it's double that so you have to double the um, you know I did the math effectively 4.5 K to 4 ohms if you look at the ratio of that it's 101 so if I had about 9 K then that comes out to about 9 ohms or whatever so if I want it for an 8 ohm speaker then it should be set on the 4 ohm tap so I've got it hooked up to the 4 ohm tap uh, I tested the heaters those work so we can go ahead and turn those on and I should get, no Mallory, no, you don't want to be in there, that might, no, you got to stay away, I'm about to do some high voltage stuff, and we'll shock you. So, I'm going to turn on my main big power guy, you can see I've connected it in here. I've got a sine wave input coming in, and, uh, oddly enough, that seems to have been, Mallory, look out, no, nope, look out. So, I've got glow on my tubes, I've dialed in my thing to be about 280 volts input, uh, what I actually probably should do, I've got the tube warming, this looks like I'm on standby right now. I'm going to connect this guy to uh, one of my power uh, setup here. Just so I can see, we've got it hooked up there. Oh, look out Mallory. Hey, Mallory, are you going to help? Mallory, no, you're going to get shocked. You know what, you got to step back. I'm about to turn power on. Alright, so, sorry about this. So we're going to try and turn this on now. I've got everything wired up correctly. We'll see our voltage here on the screen. Right now it's at 9 volts because that's about what it pushes. If I push start, hopefully, we'll start hearing the output if all goes well. Well, we've got something going on. And I have 269 volts there, which is okay. But I don't seem to be... I've just got a huge amount of hum. So, we're going to shut that back off. Because I don't want to uh, potentially be cooking anything. Alright, so... The good thing is, is I've got those, I can just quickly unclick them. We were getting about 269 volts, but I was just hearing a loud hum, which meant for some reason I wasn't collecting output. I am getting still the glow on my tubes, um, but uh, at this point I am not seeing anything yet um, on the blue line, which is my main output, so we will... I'm trying to adjust it. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Anyway, so what I'm going to do quickly now is we're going to try and think through why I just got a nice hum coming out. Um, I definitely can see input coming in to the uh, input point here. And I've got it set to about 10 millivolts per division, so it's actually coming in kind of light. Let me turn the volume back up on this guy. Um, and I'm wondering, it seems like I'm getting a kind of odd shape to my input that I wasn't getting when I didn't have the power on. So I'm going to turn the main power off on that and see if that changes the shape at all. So I'm at... 20 millivolts, yeah, I've actually got some high input coming in right now, so I'm going to turn the heaters back on. And the thing that looks interesting is it seemed almost like the shape, yeah, the shape of my input is changing as the heaters come up, and I don't know why, that seems kind of odd. Um, it's just kind of collapsing as it's sitting there. So it makes me think something is grounding out. So we're going to go ahead and shut back off the heaters, and I will have to check into that. So, uh, prototype t test one. Uh, not successful yet. We will uh, give it a try again and we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, we're rolling again. I realized what I'd missed. If you can now see this red wire coming right here, that was supposed to go from the um, second grid back to the main triode through this 100 or 390k resistor. I'd forgotten to connect it. So I think the sound in this first tube was just dying out. So I've got it up and it's running. I'm hearing a lot of hum, but we'll go ahead and play it right now. But the first thing I'd like to do actually is hook a guitar in now because I just got a sine wave in. So I just want to see what it sounds like with a guitar in it now that it's uh, definitely working. So, let me grab my guitar. I'll connect that in. Possibly out of tune. I just grabbed my guitar and brought it down. Um, but we are definitely 
getting output. And I've got a lot of hum. As a prototype though, that's common if you're just not quite getting everything perfect, but let's go ahead and turn it back on again. Oh, we had sound a minute ago, now I don't. Oh, okay, well, um, it's possible something is grounding out on accident. I'm not getting any input from the guitar. I might have accidentally grounded something out. Oh. No, that wasn't it. I was going to say my guitar is not. Hmm, interesting. Well, it was working just a second ago when I connected that up and I should have filmed it, but I didn't. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it again for a minute and see... Uh, well, let's actually look at voltages. I've got 215 coming in right there. Um, the other thing that's kind of weird is on my, uh, I'll possibly show the scope. I've got pretty heavy hum coming through. That is probably 60 cycle hum, which means my heaters are close. Um, I'm just not sure what else possibly. Let me grab my chopstick, where did it go? see it now. I had it out and was playing with it a minute ago. Oh, there it is. It's right here. Alright, so Well, I definitely was getting output a minute ago and now I'm not. So, I'll have to look and see if I've accidentally shorted something wiggling things around. This is the fun part about doing this. Um, Oh, yep, I actually broke my solder connection loose there. I will have to re-solder, looks like. Okay, cool, now I know what it is. Uh, in moving this around, I deconnect, disconnected accidentally the um, 68K resistor that goes into the, the, the input pot that comes down in. So I'll fix that, and we'll come back in a second. All right, so it's all turned on. The uh, As I mentioned in the previous video, oh, it's not turned on, but it's all set up previous video I'd found, I'd forgot to connect this up, but then I'd accidentally desolder that connection, so now we're going to turn our power amp back on, and then we're going to send in the juice, see if I get some actual guitar output now. I can actually see a little bit of output going in, it's getting to the, uh, into my... tone stack here, but that hum is pretty heavy, I'm guessing that's 60 cycle hum from, getting really weak output. And the guitar's really out of tune too. But um, alright, so we'll play around a little bit more. Uh, definitely have output going in, but it's super weak. One of the things I might do, uh, it's possible this is really current limiting that big 22K resistor in line. I was supposed to put a very small one in just as a kind of helping filter, but it's so big it may be limiting the current that can come through. So I will try and uh, potentially remove that because this this power supply here already it should be fairly clean. I've got a couple of um, filter caps that I'm putting in line that puts it at about, I think if I remember right, like 22 uh, microfarad. So we're gonna try and uh, just temporarily remove that, resolder it, connect it over and see what I get output there. Because there is output coming out, but it's really soft and maybe massively current limited, I don't know. If not, I'll have to try and see what else might be going on. So, all right, we'll get back to you in a minute.